Hello students and parents, welcome to BTEC 360. NIT Trichy, established in 1964 as RAC Thiruchirappalli, NIT Trichy has long been regarded as one of the benchmarks for all the NITs that we have in this country. It was known for its academic rigor, strong industry connect and one of the country's most influential alumni networks. It represents the gold standard of public engineering colleges in this country and now I want to present data so that you understand how you can get into NIT Trichy, what kind of ranks you need and once you get into NIT Trichy, what kind of placement, what kind of companies, what kind of jobs on offer so that you exactly take a decision based on what is right for you. Before I move any further, please subscribe to BTEC 360 and support us. Your encouragement means the world to us. So we want you to subscribe so that we know that you're watching us and we will keep presenting data, information, research, analysis so that you get into the best engineering college possible. Now, NIT Trichy established in 1964, so it's about 62 years old, right? It's an INA, of course, uh, which means Institution of National Importance, which means it's got greater autonomy and create its own courses. It can be more agile in terms of creating its own courses. It's spread across 800 acres of land. It's a beautiful, beautiful campus. You must go there. And the total students is 4,287 in a UG four years, of which 78% are uh, boys and 22% are girls. Now, outside the home state is uh, 53%. Now, you must remember all NITs have 50% you know, uh, reservation uh, within the state. So, that, that's why this uh, ratio is there. In IITs, it will be about 90% outside the home state. But, but in all NITs, 50% of the seats come from the, within the state and which is what is happening here. Having said that, remember one thing. That the reason why the 3% extra is happening is because you also have extra numerous seats and all that have been added off late, which is where this 53% happens. But typically, half the seats go to within the home state, right? And now, the 43% is outside the state of course three percent students come from outside the country also which is a very very good number which means the institution good enough for students from outside the country also to come and wanting to study here and the total faculty strength is 219 for these 3337 which is a very good number at this point in time though i do think that it could have been done better because the kind of when you talk of 4287 i would expect the faculty to be slightly more than what it is currently now we looked at the placement data the placement data when we look at is always from authentic sources from government sources because we don't want to trust only marketing brochures we want to rely on something which is filed in an affidavit under the agreement where the dean director signs saying that these are all true and correct right so we only look at that and this data is submitted to the government of india for national institutional ranking framework which is nirf now nirf essentially is a ranking agency floated by the government of india ministry of education and all the institutions which want to be ranked submit all the data to nirf and this data that we're showing now has been compiled from the submissions that are made to nirf which is government of india right here when we look at it and we looked at students who got in in 21 and passed out in 24, right? Graduated in 24. 1,081 students were admitted, of which 1,029 students graduated. The drop, the other, others can be people who dropped out mid, in mid-course or failed or any of those kind of things. But these 1,029 students graduated from the 21 batch, right? Of this 1,029, 791 students actually were placed. Now, the big thing here is, when you look at the opting for higher studies, 158 students are opting for higher studies. For me, this is a very big question mark because what we notice is a strong correlation between the stronger the placement, the lesser the number of students who are, being, who are opting for higher studies. Because they get a good job, they don't move for higher studies. They get on to the good job, right? When the jobs are not good or the offers are not good, what the students do is they invariably say, okay, I'm not going to take up this offer. I'm going to move for higher studies. So here, about 158 students, which is about 15% students, move for higher studies which is a big red flag for me because this in my opinion are students who are unable to get placed not all students by the way there will be a few students who will want to move for higher studies they are very very clear in the pathway and all but this is very unusual as a percentage because, because typically if you look at the IITs and all you will have three four percent of the students who are moving for higher studies here it's 15 percent which is very very it's a big red flag for me having said that because what it means is that when you deal with the placement percentages you from 2029 you remove 158. Now, what it comes down to is, is you know, essentially uh, you remove, it will be about 870 or 880 students. So, you basically bring down the universe of the number of students who are looking for placement to not 1029, but to about 870, 880. And there you say, okay, of the 870, 880, I place 791 students. So, I'm placing 90% students. Otherwise, when you look at it from the overall graduated, this 90% would be about 75%. Because 1029 graduated, 791 were placed. 
right which is about 77 78 percent is what will happen so that is the problem here right and the other thing that you should be looking at very closely is the median salary itself what is 15.17 lakh rupees has fallen down to 14.35 lakh rupees which again is a very clear drop of about eight nine percent so the median salary has dropped and the placement percentage has dropped despite the fact that the number of students who are opting for higher studies was pushed higher and both for me are a red flag at this point in time because this is a challenge for me you know eight percent drop uh, so this seems to be a big issue that is uh, looking at and it is looking at now when we look at the number of students who are placed as a percentage from each of the branches from the admission right we are talking of as per the institute for btech 2024 and this now we file it for with rti and we get this data out so when we are looking at rti data right in civil engineering 76.2 percent students of registered students were placed now this is the thing again i'm saying this registered students what institutions claim is not not every student registers to and wants to be get placed wants to get placed which is correct there would be a cases a few cases where the student says i don't want to get placed i'm going to go and join something that i want to create myself or i want to join a business that my parents have or any of those things right but the percentage is very unusual if you now look at it very very closely you'll understand what i'm saying for computer science engineering 96 percent students register for placement 97 percent but when it comes to civil engineering, only 76% register for placement. This is a dead giveaway because what it's doing is when the opportunity of getting placed is high, the number of students who are registering for placement is high. And when the opportunity is lesser, the number of students registering for placement falls dramatically, which is what I keep saying every time, like in mechanical is 90. And this essentially tells you the scale or, or the opportunity that a branch has that of course, computer science is 97%, followed by EE, which is uh, AAA, which is 90, 93%, which all of us know. Then comes, uh, you know, mechanical at 90, and then electronics and ECE is 87.7, and then civil engineering at 76.2. This is a dead giveaway in terms of the chances of a student getting placed is very, very important here, and that is being shown here, right? Now, what are the, outside the home state, we are talking of JE main rank, outside the home state, at a category rank, what is it that you'll get at what rank? When we look at that data, for computer science, 1449 JE main rank, you will get into CS. For ECE, it's 3283. For electrical, EEEE, it's 5637. And for mechanical, it's 8339. For the EWS category rank, outside the home state, NIT Trichy. For BTEC CSE, it's 257. OBC NCL, it's 434. SC, it's 283. And SC, it's 64. For ECE, outside home state, category rank, for EWS 465, for OBC 1240, for SC 597, for ST 270, for EEE 987 for EWS, 2288 for OBC NCL, 1035 for SC and 467 for ST. For mechanical, 1565 for EWS, OBC NCL 4067, 1321 for SC and 263 for ST. Moving further, for instrumentation and control engineering, 11,047 for open general category, 11,935 for chemical engineering, civil engineering is 17,304, production engineering is 20,879, metallurgical and materials engineering is 21,243. And please download, you actually have the category rank, non-home state, at each branch level, at the category level. And this is important for you to understand which branch you will get on what rank of JE main and this non-home state. Again, I'm saying it's non-home state, it's outside the home state. The home state ranks and all, we created a comprehensive guidebook. You can download that guidebook. You can click on the link below and download the guidebook and you'll have all data at the category level, at a extra numeric level, at a reservation level also. Now, what are the companies that come for placement at NIT Trichy? Google, Microsoft. So the best of the companies, Amazon, Facebook, Meta, Adobe, Apple. So you have every mom companies coming in, Oracle, Uber, Bloomberg, Samsung, Atlassian, IBM, Spiggy, Unacademy, Salesforce, Qualcomm, Nvidia. No, Unacademy, you should not join even if it comes, by the way. Intel, Texas Instruments, Larson and Turbo, Tata Steel and Tata Motors, so manufacturing, Ashok Leonard, Automotive, Bosch, Goldman Sachs Investment Bank, Morgan Stanley Investment Bank, Deloitte Consulting, PwC Consulting, McKinsey Consulting, ISRO, Fantastic, DRDO for defense. So you actually have all kinds of companies coming in, right from banks to investment banks, to consulting companies, to tech companies. You actually have all kinds of companies coming in here for placement. Now, we also looked at the LinkedIn profile of the students who studied at uh, NIT Trichy. So we also started looking at 
how many students actually are have studied at NIT Trichy and where are they working at this point in time? And we wanted to understand which place they are located, where they are placed, what companies they are working in. When we look at that, in Microsoft, 310 students are working because remember, Microsoft is going for placement there. In Deloitte, 199 students are working. EYU, 80 students are working. Qualcomm, 314 students are working. Please ignore this number because this is not correct number, but this is the number that you should be looking at. That so many students are right now working, and that is what happens when you are established 60 years back. Remember, so you have a legacy that's moving ahead, and everything works out for you. And we saw 38,944 students we traced of where they're working, what where they're located, and those kind of things. And this is the number that you saw. Now moving further, when we look at the Mang companies, remember. Each of these companies is going for placement. If you remember what I showed you of the companies that are coming for placement, Meta was going for placement, Apple was there, Amazon was there. See, if you see all these companies, Mang, we call it, M-A-N-G, uh, NVIDIA was there, Google was there. If you go back to the placement companies that we talked of earlier, you have Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Meta, Apple, NVIDIA. So you have all those companies going for placement, which is where you actually see those kind of numbers happening here that even now as you speak, again, please ignore this uh, this number. So many students are right now, uh, but anyway, Meta 94 students had worked at some point, Apple 162, Amazon 369, 177 for uh, Nvidia and Google 240 students worked at some point in time. We really don't know how many are right now working, but this seems to be the data that we're coming to that a lot of students who studied at NIT Trichy have worked or are working at any of these companies, right? Now, we also looked at how the students are, where the students are located. And the older the institution, the more the chances that the students would have moved out of India and then settled because you join a Google and then from there you keep growing up your career and you get on to you know, international destinations where Google is present. So, which is what happens. So, when you actually have more of these MNC companies or multinational companies or uh, big tech companies coming in, you move out of the country because you move with a job, right? So, in that, that way, when you look at it, 74% students work within India, which also means 26% students are working around the world. This is a very, very good number and very big number to deal with. So 26% students work globally. Of this 26%, 15% are in USA, which is an extremely, extremely good number. About 2% are in UAE, about 2% are in UK, about 1.5% are in Canada, 1% uh, in Australia, 1% in Singapore, 1% in Germany. So you actually have the students who studied at NIT Trichy to be really, really conquering the world, ruling the world, working all over the world, getting the best career prospects out there. and hopefully earning a lot of money and either might have settled down there or working at this point in time there and might want to come back. But the global mobility of the student who's studying at NIT Trichy seems to be very, very good. That is what happens. Now, by the way, this is 65 year legacy. Having said that, I've also shown you the red flags of the last two years. So just be cautious when you're dealing with that whole thing, right? I want to cover a lot many engineering colleges like this, what I've done with this kind of data as you want. Please, if you want me to cover any college, please write to me in the message box and I'll be happy to cover that for you. Thank you so much. Namaste.